Were you prepared to use it or? Um, if my, if my life was threatened. This man was seen carrying a pistol caliber rifle through a residential area of Midtown. Today, he's speaking on camera only with Fox 13. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Darcy Thomas. And I'm Daryl Green. Memphis police say they got calls from several concerned neighbors, but it turns out what Derek Wynn was doing was perfectly legal. Let's go to Fox 13's Daniel Wilkerson live outside Wynn's Midtown home. Daniel, he told you he carried that weapon in that way after a series of run-ins. That is right, Daryl and Darcy. Good evening to you. Good evening to you at home. Derek Wynn tells me he had a couple of close encounters. He says in so many words he was simply afraid. Now, turns out he lost his job over it. And if his last name sounds familiar, he was a recent mayoral candidate in this most recent race. It was a picture that circulated Memphis. A man walking down a residential street with a pistol caliber rifle. That man was 34-year-old Derek Wynn. I just, I saw their faces and I saw, I saw killers. I saw Stone Cold killers. And if this is some... They looked at you? It, no, no, they, they made a point not to, not to look at me. Wynn says the picture was taken as he walked home from work, a local bakery in Midtown. Uh, a few, for a few days, well, more than a few days, I was being stalked by someone on a bicycle, you know, white male. Um, and one night there were two of them on bikes and they were they got pretty close. Wynn admits he didn't think through how his neighbors would react until he got a knock at the door from MPD. At first, I didn't understand what was going on. And then when it was clear, I was like, oh, goodness, guys, I'm not. People were calling MPD and telling somebody, telling them someone was going to go shoot up a school. And I was like, hey, guys, I just walked here from work. William Smythe is one of Wynn's neighbors. It makes me feel unsafe, no matter who you are, especially with a gun that size. Doctor of criminology and Fox 13 law enforcement expert Mike Collins says there's nothing unlawful about what Wynn was doing. That is uncommon, uh, but it's not unlawful. But he says it presents a huge challenge for officers. Law enforcement have the authority to find out and ascertain what is this person's intent. This looks like it leaves a lot open to possible racial profiling. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it does happen. Back to when. Have you ever had any problem with like mental challenges? I have ADHD. Do I have ADHD? Yeah, I have, I have ADHD. Um, I'm a child abuse survivor. I do have PTSD from child abuse. But he says this whole ordeal may just have cost him his job. Why do you not work there anymore? I was, I was let go. Um, because of this incident? Yes, yes. The people there got afraid somehow? No, I would say, I would say that my boss and you, you know, you can go talk to him, uh, was uncomfortable with, I mean, honestly, it was, he was uncomfortable with the firearm there at work. And I was, I was just letting him know that, hey, I have to you know, store this somewhere. And he was like, yeah, it's going to be a deal breaker. And I was like, okay, understood. Wynn says now seeing things more clearly, he wants people to know this. And I can't apologize enough to the people who were um, frightened for their lives, for their children's lives. I was just, I was, I was scared. Back out live, although walking around with a weapon like this is not all that common inside residential neighborhoods. As of late, we have seen a lot of video of young people in places like parks with weapons like this. Our law enforcement expert weighs in on the challenges that that poses to law enforcement. That's coming up at 10. DG. Yeah, Daniel, I talked to one of my law enforcement sources who was very close to this particular situation. He said that he and his partner had no idea what they were rolling up on. But you also found that if Wynn's name sounds familiar, he was recently one of the candidates for mayor here in Memphis. I don't remember his name on the ballot. Yes, if you recall, we had a full screen that had the pictures of all the mayors. His was the one without a picture. Uh, he says that he ran on a single issue. He says that it wasn't a serious run. He says he got about 56 or 57 votes. But he says after this last incident, he admits the optics. They didn't look good. And he doubts he'll ever run again. Yeah, fewer than 100 votes. That's Fox 13's Daniel Wilkerson live in Midtown. Daniel, thank you. Now, keep in mind, in the state of Tennessee, it's legal for most people 18 or older to own a rifle, shotgun, or handgun. You don't need a permit. 
That law was passed back in 2021, and it's been subject to fierce debate ever since. But you must be 21 to purchase a gun in Tennessee. Before this year, you also had to be 21 to carry without a permit. But a legal settlement this spring lowered that age to 18. 